In today's video, I got back an epic PSA return. What's up, guys? I'm super excited. I love PSA returns because you never know what you're going to get. There's a lot of potential. I mean, I, I mean, you know, sort of because you sent the cards, but you don't know what grades you're going to get. Most of the time with bulk subs like this, you just forget what you sent. So you really don't know what you're going to get. It's really exciting. Before we hop into it, though, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away some graded cards. We have a big core near Mr. Man 8 from Rise of Destiny. That's an ultimate rare. We have a Sylveon from Raiding Collection and we have a Umi. I think these were part of a giveaway like three years ago. Nobody ever claimed them. So guess what? They're back up and available. Perfect timing for a PSA return. All right, going to crack this big box so we can get to the smaller boxes and then we can see what's inside. There was one upcharge for this, but at bulk level, that's not really saying much because bulk is like $15 a pop. I think the max is 200. So one card over 200 that they upcharge i guess i don't know how much it was i didn't really do the math so hopefully something exciting if you do want to buy anything from this stream just check out ruxin 34com there will be a lot of uh, these cards and probably most of them available on my website so go check it out there's also a lot of other things available there i put my affiliate links there on a different tab so if you want to ever find the discount codes for current sets such as the upcoming set infinite forbidden you get five percent off if you use that link it's in the youtube description and on ruxin 34com so there's a lot of stuff to see over there enough enough jabbering let's go all right, guys, got the cards out. Let's just start one by one. Oh, we have 50 cards-ish, a little bit less than 50. So let's see what we have. <sighs> Starting off with a bang. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Ghost Rider. I think we pulled this maybe. Oh, I see some print lines already that I didn't see when I sent it in. So this is going to be an eight or nine, probably eight. Oh, a nine. Okay, cool. I just figured there was something else I didn't see, which is why I said probably eight. A couple print lines. That makes sense where I, why I got the nine instead of the ten. Beautiful looking ghost rare. I think they did a really good job when it comes to the gold ghost rares because the foiling, it looks amazing. It has nice different colors to it. It's very shiny. Not a lot of 3D effect, but if they add it, I mean, there's a little bit to it, but if they had more of that, that would be one of the best looking ghost rares there is. Uh, I also wanted to mention, if you guys didn't see, PSA has an update where soon they will be offering uh, Grader's Notes, which is something that people have been wanting for a long time, where they'll tell you why a certain thing got a certain grade it's express level only to start and i think maybe they'll be branching into other levels at some point probably never bulk level because it's not really worth the time probably but uh still really cool to see that for like especially high-end cards when you get the nine you're like why you at least know a reason that may or may not be more frustrating if they tell you and you're like i don't agree you know or maybe you just missed it and then you're like oh okay that makes sense so better be torax let's see first ed you're meant to min eight. Okay, off to an eight start. No big deal. Let's see what the next card is. Let's see if we can get some tens today. A lot of these are old school cards. Okay, that's not, I mean, it's an old school card, but it's recent. Uh, OTS 24. We open this up. Let's see if we can get a 10. Hit nine. Oh, man. That would have been sweet. Okay. Yo, I think I sent in maybe more than one of those. We'll see. Exchange. That's from Legendary Collection. This is kind of a random one, but I thought it'd be a pretty cool PSA 10. Uh, also, I, 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 I mean, should mention. New background. I, by the way, there will be more there than just a revised starter deck and Pot of Greed, but I just put it up, so it cut me some slack. Exchange, Secret Rare, beautiful. Gem Mint 10. Okay, first edition Legendary Collection, Yugi's World. Actually, really expensive pack to open, so I figured this would be a pretty cool PSA 10, you know, classic cards. It has all the, uh, it has Exodia pieces there. It has, what else? They have Time Wizard, Dark Magician, Pot of Greed, Raigeki. What is that? Oh, Exodia's head. Okay, yeah, it's covering it up a little bit. All right, our first PSA 10. Very nice. I'll take that all day, every day. Okay, speaking of Exodia, if you guys, actually, a lot of you guys may not have seen this because this is on the Patreon opening. We actually pulled a bunch of these uh, Legendary Collection Yugi World cards, so I decided to grade them uh left arm the forbidden one here we go Ooh, ouch that's out of the pack that's brutal you're meant to be an eight that's one where i'd love to see a grader's note on that one uh centering is pretty good back looks pretty clean did i miss a corner ding or something maybe no i don't know what i missed on that one interesting there are some things that are easy to see in the slab and some they're not so i'm guessing it was something that was not easy to see there red eyes flare metal we did pull this one this is an unlimited but it's an ultimate rare this was when we did the tristan boys we did the short the other day i was talking like tristan in the last pack magic was red eyes flare metal dragon so that was pretty crazy let's see what this is oh a gym mint that's pretty sweet actually psa 10 if this was first ad this would be really awesome but unlim is still pretty good because core is not a reprinted set so it's a pretty old set at this point 2015 almost 10 years old core is almost 10 years old can you believe that pretty insane and another gym mint 10 i'll take it on cards we pulled i like that uh speaking of core this one okay we don't need to chat about this too much i got a nine unfortunately that was from the same opening i think uh the legendary fisherman i opened this one pretty recently out of a Ferris servant pack and i was like you know what let's send it in F legendary fisherman's pretty cool if it gets a 10 it'd be pretty awesome even though it's unlim it's an og print let's see nine okay yeah 
I think the centering's a little off on this guy, so that, that kind of makes sense. And there, there was a tiny bit of scuffing, so that's probably a solid nine. Okay, Fire Princess, Unlim, Live the Nightmare. Let's see, we pulled this as well. We have a PSA nine. Okay, so a lot of nines so far. Let's see if we can get some tens. Here's the Lava Golem. I actually posted the short of this the day I recorded this, uh, and I was like, I think I graded that. I was like, I can't remember what I did with it. Here it is. I graded it. So guessing a nine just because it's old school and there's probably something wrong with it. Yep, I was right. There was something wrong with it. I guess it got a nine. All right, White Knight Dragon. I graded this purely because it's one of the best looking Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever made. I mean, just look at it. The Secret Rare is absolutely amazing. We did pull this one as well out of Ancient Prophecy. Let's see if we can get that 10. It'd be amazing. Another nine. Okay, we're nining it up. Can we get some tens today? Oh, this would be this would be a big one. Unlim. Still, Secret Rare from Tactical Evolution. This could be a huge, huge PSA 10. Even on Unlim. And by huge, I mean... Not that huge, but it's still pretty big. That's a nine. Okay. So we, we have mint cards. We could say that. Very mint. We have two tens, two eights. The average is a is a nine, because everything else is nine. Okay, let's keep it going. We have oh Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. Somebody hit me up about Ultimate Rare Beast the other day. I don't think they need a Topaz Tiger and probably not on them either, but we did pull this. Yeah, this was a sweet opening. We put this would be awesome. Oh, give us a 10. Come on. Let us be excited. Okay, over my RP. I, I don't necessarily care about that card. It got an 8. The, Extreme Victory, really hard. I mean, from what I've seen, I haven't graded a lot of it, but the quality is not great. This was early on in the new Ultimate Rare, which is not that new anymore. It's pretty old, uh, but like the new version of the Ultis, and it seemed like they had not figured it out just yet. So our average is now below a 9, unfortunately. Okay, uh, Grave of the Super Ancient uh, Organism, Mewtwo, whatever it's called. Okay, 9. Man, this is a nine central out here. Okay. Oh, please, please, please. I want to add this to my collection so bad. It has to be a 10 to add it, though. Has to be a 10. Submarine Roy, please. Come on. They are brutal on these ultis. Ultis are just hard to grade, man. They are hard to grade. Okay, speaking of extreme victory, this one might not be as bad because it's not an ulti. So maybe you can get the 10. Blue rose would be really nice with the black rose. Oh my goodness. Can we get can we get a 10 today, please? Like at any point? Let's see. We have a power tool. This would be sweet. This thing was clean. I mean, come on. We just need a 10. We, we have three eights, two tens, and a bunch of nines. Let's get just get a 10 right here. This is honestly pretty rough. I mean, this is this is pretty bad. This is a lot of we do not usually get this many nines. Sphere of Chaos. Okay, secret rare. I just graded this because it's a secret, honestly, and it got a nine. Yeah, shocker. Oh my wow, this is rough. Not even really sure why I graded this, because this is a playable in Edison, but I mean it's Red Dragon Archery and it's pretty cool. So if this it's a nine, let's be honest. Oh my gosh, it's one of those, it's one of those returns. There is an upcharge, so I know at some point we get something good, because I don't think one of these was the upcharge. Oh, we, we get something good at some point. Fifth Hope, I once had a PSA 10 first set, sold it at Collecticon, the first one at Charlotte I went to. We pulled this. We pulled this card. This one, we did pull it, right? Yeah, because we had all this tactical evolution packs. Yeah, this has to have a bend I missed out of the pack that's a bummer it's really hard to see through the slab oh man yeah so last last psa return if you guys missed it i didn't have anything under an eight which i was like yes i always get a random six there's the random six so hopefully that's the only one okay spark blaster another cool one we pulled out of crv recently a lot of unlimited multis today and i was hoping for some tens but not happening apparently flash okay this is first ad i once rated a psa 10 of this uh i would love to do that for a second time right here flash the wind spell out of cyberdark impact man it is this is brutal this is really brutal uh twister that's from strike of neos really cool pattern like the circles all the way around uh, they, they did that pattern for a few sets i feel like on uh phantom the, the beginning and the end or whatever doesn't that have no maybe it doesn't maybe it was only strike of neos i don't actually know let's see we got a 10 it's an unlimited twister we'll take it we'll take it anything we can get at this point psa 10 i mean ulti that's pretty hard to do all right i'm desperate i'm desperate for something big come on come on come on dark Lu oh this would be sweet dark lucius level six also cyber dark impact did i pull this i don't think i pulled this i don't think i pulled this must be from a collection or something Mid nine. Okay, that makes sense. Where's our big card? What is the big card in here? Cyber Summon Blaster Ultimate Rare. Sure. Okay. First edition from Power of the Duelist. Yes. Okay. There we go. This is not a big card at all, but it's a first ad ultimate rare. So that's cool. I'll take that. That's our fourth 10. So we have a six, three eights, 
four tens, and then a lot of nines. So our average is almost back to a nine average. Okay, this is, we also pulled this, Vader Darkness, very cheap card, but original print, it's also, no, not original print, it's EN, so it's from 2004, 2005 uh, area, probably 2004, very cool, Vader Darkness, we pulled this one, midnight, okay. Midnight, got it. All right, let's see what this next one, Thousand Dragon. This one's got the uh, the sharp secret rare. I think that means 2010, 11, something like that. Uh, if it's from a reprint, it's probably 20, well, it could be 2013, actually. This is, I think it's 2010, I think it's 2010. Midnight, okay, yeah, it, the reprints, no matter which one it is, I can never get a 10. Okay, Princess Koran, this was pulled, I mean, out of Shadow Infinity. I think this was the same, wasn't this the same opening as the Sacred Beast? Wait, did we already get the Sacred Beast back? No, maybe this is another card because I don't think I've submitted the Sacred Beast yet. Yeah, so I think I think we did pull it. No, was it maybe it was another princess? I don't remember. Mint nine. Okay, mint nine, mint nine. Add it again. Drastic drop off. We are dropping off from our last PSA return with a bunch of nines right out of the pack. Okay, Gate Guardian Secret Rare MRD reprint. Let's see. It's got the sh uh, does it? Yeah, it has the same secret. I think it's 2010. Seven. Okay, I missed something on that one. That is for sure. A seven and a six. That's brutal. Okay, these should just be in the same. They should just be in the same pile. That's just the bad pile. All right, next one. Summon Skull. Okay, this is like a 20, 20, I think it's like a 2017 reprint. These are really hard to grade. So if we get anything good. Oh, yes! That's actually sick. Summon Skull, 2017 reprint. These usually have a bunch of print lines, and I did not see any. So that makes sense why it got the PSA 10, our fifth 10 of the opening. Wow, yeah, we are at a very low 10 percentage rate, but if we get something crazy, it'll all be worth it. Okay, next one, Solemn Judgment. Very beautiful, Solemn Judgment. Ghost Rare. Okay, we got a 9 on the, on the blue eyes. Let's hope for a 9 here. Yeah, hoping for... and it, 10s are unrealistic out of that set. They're always print line. Oh, this is in here. Okay, so yeah, we pulled this card for Lars. Lars then sells it back to me, and I decided to grade it. Okay, we got to save that one for later. I'm hoping that's the upcharge. I hope that's it. Uh, I hope we got a 10, but based on what's happened here, I'm not expecting a 10 at all. It should have got a 10, in my opinion. The thing was beautiful. Okay, let's do Perfect Machine King first. This is from Dark Revelation 3, not an unlimited Rise of Destiny. You're meant to mid eight. Okay, brutal. Uh, that one we did pull. Dark Horus. I pulled this. This was in the error pack. If you guys remember, we opened an error pack of Phantom Darkness. It was at the very front of the pack. You open the pack, it was boom, ultimate rare. It was really cool. Uh, and you're meant to mid eight. So it didn't, didn't really matter that much, I guess. Uh, Stardust Drag. This would be actually a really good 10. From the 10, it'd be a good 10. Okay, let's see. Come on. Ouch. Okay, that was a loose card, too. So there's probably something I missed. Okay, this one, we got an eight on the last Exodia piece. Nine this time. Okay, so a little better. Man, ouch. Okay, well, the Archler Christia is what could really save everything. Cosmic Horror, Gengiel. This is a first ed ultimate rare. PSA nine. Okay, a lot more nines. Let's see about this. Elements of Darkness. Clean card. I think I did pull this one. First edition. Yeah, the problem with this stack, I'm going to move this stack over, actually. It won't let me show the whole card. There we go. That's better. A nine. Ouch. Okay. Okay. That card was clean. Light in Dragon. We pulled this from Raging Battle. Let's, uh, it's a pretty card. Pretty secret rare. 5D secret rares are really nice. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five more cards. We only have five tens. This might be the least tens I've ever gotten on a bulk sub. This is pretty brutal. Uh, Earth Battle Mortal Asapisku. Okay, we got a 10. Thank goodness. That's number six. Uh, unlimited Ultimate Rare, Earthbound Immortal. Okay. Yeah, okay. That'll help a little bit. Cyclone Blade, Ultimate Rare First Edition. Another. Okay, we're getting some 10s. Okay, seven tens now. Let's just get three more in a row and get to 10. That'd be really nice. Okay, uh, Majestic Red Dragon. This is an unlimited Ultra Rare, so low rarity in the set from Absolute Power Force. Let's see what we got. I don't know where this came from. An eight. Apparently somewhere that wasn't in good shape. Okay, Sun Dragon NT. This one I'm pretty sure we did pull as well. Absolute Power Force, Unlimited, Ultimate Rare. Mid nine. Ouch. This is this is a rough sub. Okay, so we know this one is the Arch Lord Christie. I'm actually gonna turn it around like this and not spoil it because I can't actually see up there. Arch Lord Christia. Secret rare pulled on the channel. First edition. This is a really big card. This has to be the upcharge. But the thing is, this card was probably too high anyway, just being a raw card. So I don't even, a nine probably bumps it up anyway. So 
I don't know. If this got a 10, this whole sub's worth it. If we just got a 9, this is going to be a little bit of a rough sub. But this does happen sometimes. You get unlucky with your grades. All right. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to buy any of these cards, check out Ruxin34.com. I'm probably not going to regrade these. These are bulk level subs. So even if some of them I think could get 10s, it just like the double cost will just make it not worth it. So uh, yeah, I'll probably be on Ruxin34.com. Check that out. Here we go. Let's see what we can get on the last card. Please make the sub. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Yeah, I figured that that's unfortunate because this card is really nice. There is a little spot there, but that was that was not there before. So that's just from the case. Ouch. That was really clean. I'm not sure why. I mean, the centering is good. Is that corner messed up? Maybe. Give me that. Wait a second. I don't remember that corner being like that. Oh, and I didn't do a pre-grade for this, did I? Oh, maybe it was like that and I missed it, but if I'd done a pre-grade, I'd be able to check. Oh, that's pretty sad. And that's what made it the nine. Oh, I wonder if that was there. I guess we could see on the poll if it was there, but it's been, it's since been to Lars and me. And so it's been a, a lot of places since then. Okay, I did a little investigating. So here is what the corner looks like right now. So, I mean, you can see it. It's like silvered. Here's the, the footage. I'll pull it of this and it is not silvered so it's possible what can happen is sometimes the corners are not great and then if like maybe you put it in a sleeve or something this can happen and it's possible sometime between when i pulled this and when lars had it and when i had it the corner turned into this but i'm not totally sure i can't be totally sure but it's definitely different than when it was pulled which is a huge bummer and this i mean if you see there it looks like it got bumped on something it looks like it's bent upward so that's all the info I have on it. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. But that looks, I mean, that doesn't look like just any old like bad corner. That looks, see, this is where the graders notes would be nice. Uh, it'd be nice. I, I mean, it has to be that, but ouch, that is unfortunate to say the least. Wow, that looks like it got dinged. That's what it looks like. Wow, I don't know for sure, but I, I suspect that something may have happened to that card, which is really unfortunate. But that, that's the risk you use with bulk sub. The, the bulk sub is lower value and... It's, yeah, yeah, I guess there's more of a chance they damage something, so. Don't know for sure that happened, but it feels like it might have. Bummer, that has happened before with the Flame Swordsman. Only the second time it's ever happened, but the first time is like the, only the first time, now it's the second time. But that's a bummer, so. A little bit of a bummer sub, still pretty cool. There will still be stuff on Ruxa34.com. Little bit sad with how this one turned out. We did end up getting 710s, so we got about... What is that? Maybe one seventh of them were tens, something like that. So whatever the percentage of that is, like almost 20%, not quite 20%, maybe like 15, 16, no, no, less than 15. It'd be like, okay, enough math. So not a lot of tens in this one, pretty brutal. Uh, but that's okay. This is how they go. I do have another PSA sub coming up from some rarity collection stuff I graded, some cool stuff from that set. So keep an eye out for that. Oh, well, next time we'll get them. We'll get them next time. And hopefully no more cards come back uh, lower grades than we were expecting next time. Shout out to Tone Fosho, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.